Why do you condemn conservatives? They agree with so much of what you say in politics, even if not everything. Isn't that a help in the battle? Now, I'm not talking here about ad hoc, uh, uh, this is my answer, about ad hoc political groups or movements that don't spread an ideology but have specific governmental demands like the Tea Party. I think that's fine. Uh, and I think they, they've helped within the limits that, that uh, is possible. I'm talking about conservative intellectuals and the political movements that they sponsor. And you say, well, so much of what they say uh, is uh, agree. Why not give the majority uh, I, uh, opinions uh, some weight and say, well, they're mostly good. And I got one really good example of why. It's a very instructive article in the New York Post of, uh, of uh, March 17, 2011, by Michael Walsh, and it's called Time to End the Spending uh, Shell Game. It's a very strong denunciation of uh, the whole idea that the government owes us a living and of all the uh, uh, entitlement uh, Medicare and uh, uh, Medicaid and hospital health insurance and prescription insurance, etc. He has statements that just show as strong as this. Entitlements, you're on the table, and the sooner you get to the chopping block, the better. The entitlement mentality is slowly throttling the nation, both financially and spiritually. And I read that and I thought, wow, this guy is not mealy mouth. He's really, you know, come out in principle. And I kept reading and I got to the last paragraph after this whole strong article. And this is the last paragraph. This is not to say that a government social safety net is not desirable. The question is not whether we should have one in a perfect world, it's how much we can afford in the world we actually live in. So the entitlements are really absolutely fine and in a perfect world, we should have them, but we have to pair them back uh, because right now we have uh, budgetary uh, problems. It, it's, it's just uh, uh, too soon. So seven-eighths of his article, you could reprint as great, totally wiped out by the fact of or that kind of uh, ending. Because as soon as he has to sum up, well, what does he stand for? Right away, he falls back on, oh, I have to remember what's moral. I can't end on a note uh, like that. And what it amounts to, you know, is this. If objectivism associated itself with that kind of, even with that kind of column, that will be the end. End of objectivism. And the principle here is, you do not fight killers by saying that killing is awful but a little of it is good in the, if we can afford it. I mean, that's what he's saying. So is that going to stop anybody? Certainly it won't stop the killers.